Hi, this is Morley and this is The M Wire. In this video, we are going to look at the falling out between lawyer Lynn Wood and his client Nick Sandman. It would appear that the grapes between these two have soured and we're going to take a look at exactly why and what led up to it. But first, a shout out to my new subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so as that would greatly help out the channel in this age of legendary internet censorship. But just to give a brief rundown on the relationship between Linwood and Nick Sandman, Linwood represented Nick Sandman when he was defamed on national television by CNN and others. You all remember this famous photo. It's a picture of a native tribe's leader and Nick Sandman apparently facing off, but the media, of course, made it out to be something that it wasn't. And Linwood represented Nick Sandman in a legendary civil suit that... Nick Sandman was awarded an undisclosed amount of money. That isn't really important here. That's just a briefing on what happened between these two prior. So Nick Sandman has issued a statement. I have ended my lawyer-client relationship with Mr. Wood and no longer wish to be represented by him. His response was from Linwood's earlier tweet this month. If Pence is arrested, Secretary Pompeo will save the election. Pence will be in jail awaiting trial for treason. He will face execution by firing squad. He is a coward and will sing like a bird and confess all. Linwood didn't respond immediately, but in a statement shared on Telegram app on Sunday, Wood said he expected Sandman would abandon him because of his earlier social media posts in which Wood suggested former Vice President Mike Pence engaged in treason and could not face execution by firing squad for formally recognizing the election victory of President Joe Biden. Wood said in the Telegram post that his comments about Pence were rhetorical hyperbole. Now, to get the full scope of this, you have to understand what Pence has been saying over social media for the last couple of months. I have a playlist uh, entitled Lynn Wood. If you want to go check it out, um, there's lots of tweets in there that uh, Lynn Wood said before his Twitter got taken down. So I highly recommend if you want to be brought up to speed up to this point. So essentially, Nick Sandman is myth that Lynn Wood would even make such a shocking statement. He said, your definition of loyalty is equivalent to being blackmailed to support something that I disagree with. True loyalty involves criticism when necessary. Now, Linwood is obviously under a lot of pressure these days, given the allegations that he's made about a lot of very important people. Once again, just refer to the playlist in my channel, and that will bring you up to speed on this. But he said some pretty shocking things. And it's understandable that a lot of people are going to disown him because he hasn't come forward with it. That's the whole point. If he has this information, he needs to bring it forward some way or somehow. But this is what he said Sunday afternoon on Telegram in response to everything that's going on with him and these allegations. My ultimatum, Mercer Law School, turned on me. I have suffered politically motivated attacks on my law license and my previously pristine record of professionalism. I have been threatened by others to take efforts to have me jailed and prosecuted for rhetorical hyperbolic post about Mike Pence. No client has abandoned me, but I expect Nicholas Sandman may do so as he may be feeling the pressure for members of Sen Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell team on which Nicholas worked this cycle. I have had serious threats of harm and death made against me and my family. My family has abandoned me, but I am not alone. I have we the people who have showered me with the messages which inspire me and comfort me. In the end, my efforts have always been for we the people until and unless they silence me by imprisonments or death. I will not stop fighting for we the people, for honest elections, for freedom, and for hundreds of thousands of little children who are being abused, molested, and sacrificed for the demonic pleasures of very evil people in this world, including leaders in our government. Once again, if Lynn Wood has what he claims he has, he has to come forward with it. He apparently is just sitting on a lot of very shocking claims about a lot of very important people. But how does that serve the people if he doesn't come forward with it? Granted, I understand that his life may very well in be in danger coming forward with this. But the longer that he sits on it, the longer the people involved 
remain able to be harmed at this point? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Should Linwood just somehow, some way, come out with all this evidence instead of keep talking about it at this point? Or do you agree that because of his safety that he should continue to sit on this evidence? Thank you for coming along with me to my video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe in this age of it legendary internet censorship. Thank you and God bless.